Hey guys, Taylor here. So I wanted to quickly show off the WP Fast Cache plugin. Um, so this is really cool. The WordPress is um, a great website, a great CMS, but the only problem with it, and I think it is a big problem and probably bigger than what people realize, is that it's really slow. So website visitors just aren't going to stay at a slow website. And it used to be that three or four seconds to load was okay, but that's just not the case anymore. It needs to be basically under a second. Your, your website should just be really snappy and it's gonna help a lot to drive traffic for SEO purposes. Um, there's gonna be all sorts of reasons uh, to have fast site. And there's some other caching systems for WordPress out there that are pretty good, but I think uh, WP Fast Cache is, is really lightweight. It's really simple, kind of the way it works. Uh, it's not bulky, and I think it's faster than all the other ones, or at least as far as what I've seen. If there's anything faster out there, uh, let me know, but I, I, just don't, I just don't see any way that it could be faster. So just, just to get an example, I'll show you kind of how to use the plugin um, real quick. So here's, here's one of my websites, and it loads pretty quick without the plugin. Um, so it's kind of the first request is taking almost uh, almost a second, a little bit under a second, about 700 milliseconds. So we want to shave that down to basically 100 milliseconds or something. And we can do that with WP Fast Cache. So here's the plugin. To install it, you can just go to Plugins, search for WP Fast Cache. Um, you'll hit Install, and it should install. So you need to make sure you're, you're, you're running on Linux and you have Apache. If you have those things, you should be fine. Um, all right, so the way it works is for every post or page, you can just go into your post or page and you can actually go ahead and add it to the WP Fast Cache right here and it'll add it. Um, and it, it, whenever you update your page, it kind of automatically updates it and you can also refresh the page cache. Um, so that's kind of how you add pages to your cache. You can also do it through this interface where you can see all your cached pages. Um, so you can type in some URL here. Let's say I want to cache a particular page. You can just put it in here and cache that particular URL. Um, you can also I'll delete all my URL caches just so we can show you how to do this. Um, so you can also cache all your recent pages. So let's say I want to cache my 10 most recent pages. Just go ahead and click OK cache my 10 most recent pages and it takes a second to do it basically the way it works is it actually takes a snapshot uh, of your web page and then just serves that snapshot up so the big problem with WordPress is it is it making all these database calls and doing all this stuff behind the scenes that we just don't really need to do once we have this um, once we have this snapshot um, yeah so you can refresh the cache for a particular page from here. You can refresh all cache URLs. So if you just made a big update to your website or launched kind of a new feature on your website and a lot of pages change, you'll want to re refresh all the caches. Um, and the other thing is, in order to see the cache working, you actually need to log out. If you're logged in, it won't be caching the pages. It bypasses it. Um, but so now we can see how fast this the website loads. So let's just look at the, the same page. It was taking us almost a second to load before. It is now, yeah, 73, 73 milliseconds. So that's, that's about seven times. Oh, yeah. About, it's on average, it, it's about eight times faster than what it's going to be loading. Um, so I think it's really important to, to, have, um, to have speed. And this is how you use it. If you guys have any questions, um, feature requests, issues, please feel free to. Um, comment on the forums. I'm open to anything, even if it seems silly. Just let me know. Um, yep, thanks, and bye for now.